production to contract data entry. See, after you've worked uh, 1,800 hours, they provide you with uh, pay holidays, and uh, they do provide you with uh, a basic insurance, very basic, but a basic insurance. Now, uh, for the position that I'm actually doing now, uh, but they're not, uh, because they put in a new computer system, they're trying to determine if they're going to need that many employees by the time the system is down pat, and so they won't uh, be doing any permanent hiring until then. Your service has not made you know any encouragement of filing for uh, permanent employment. Employment that doesn't mean that they wouldn't help me if I asked, but that's you know they're making money and you're making money if you stay where you're at. So I don't agree with it, and the reason why I don't agree with it because it's really no future, it's no stability, no benefits, no nothing. Why for that is because. In situations like that, you're dealing with people that has no health care benefits, no sick time, anything like that they can use. So the only people that stand to gain from that is the employers herself. Yes, my daughter, she's been working in the temporary workforce for like at least two years now and she has not had any offer to stay on permanent and they tell her that in order to become permanent, it's at least going to be a two to three year turnaround before it happens. Time, my work history shows that I stayed the same place 10 years, 9 years, 6 years, so I don't like jumping around, but I've also, every one of those really good jobs that I've ever found has always been starting out as a temp, going to perm, it gives uh, you an opportunity to, to really decide you like the employer, as well as the employer has an opportunity to really get to know you, and so it always seems to be a better fit, and I've always been uh, stayed at a company longer when I went to a temp service than if I just was hired straight out. So um, I think it's the best thing, but no, I have no intention of staying at tent. Well, people have to do what they have to do in order to make an income, so therefore, that's what they, you know, that's what they feel that they have to do, but, you know, they could try to seek employment elsewhere, but really the, the odds are against them right now with the economy. Um, well, it really depends on what kind of uh, uh, work you're looking for but again the three good things would be um, that they have access to multiple employers looking for people so if you're looking for a permanent position or even a temp position a lot of times you have more options uh, kind of like one of them one-stop shopping things where you know you uh, they they have 20 employers looking for people and so you can have a bigger choice of where you might want to go so that's one Two, uh, if you uh, have a lot going on in your life and yeah, you want to work for you know a week and then off a week, and, you know that's an option that you wouldn't have in a regular job. And um, just the opportunity to meet a lot of different people. Uh, well, the biggest thing again is uh, the very same things that I, I think are a plus could also, uh, you know, in some cases be a, a minus. Uh, you don't have benefits. You know, not real benefits like, you know, the 401ks and, and things like that that are really important uh, for your future. Um, you're constantly, if you're, you know, I've been here like a, uh, about 14, 15 months. So if, you know, I, I know everybody, but a lot of times on a tent service, you're constantly meeting people. So if you're not an outgoing person, then that makes it difficult because you're, you know, nothing's ever consistent. Uh, but... Um, Besides the benefits, I really there's just not a whole lot.